Good morning, folks. It's Redneck Reloader here. It's early in the morning here, and it's pouring the rain, so it's a good day to come out here and do a little reloading. But it dawned on me as I was sitting down here, and I was loading some 45 ACP, um, I went to grab my uh, lead dipper set, and I use these all the time. And it dawned on me, as many videos as I've made, as long as I've used these, I've never done uh, a video about these. And so that's what I'm going to do this morning. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you all about these. Okay, I'm gonna bring you in closer, and hopefully uh, we can see. Okay, if I this box is so big, if I get the camera back where you can see the entire thing in one shot, then you really can't see any details. So I'm gonna try to do it this way. But um, it is kind of a big long box, and you can see it says Lee Improved Powder Measure Kit, calibrated in cubic centimeters, uniformly graduated. Two extra measures, now 15 instead of 13, improved slide card, 95 powders listed, over 1,300 loads. So what this is, is a set of uh, graduated uh, plastic dippers for measuring out powder. Uh, you can see there's 15 dippers in there, and above them is printed the capacity. So... The smallest is um, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and they go up to 4.3 cc's or cubic centimeters. And then they also have this card, which is included with them. And this card kind of gives you some directions about a the proper technique, which is kind of important. So um, this is uh, how I do it. It says, push the measure through the powder only once. Give it a slight shake sideways to level it off. Do not shake it down or add more. Uh, for maximum accuracy, push the measure through the powder once and then scrape level with a paper card, which I have not had great success with that, with the powders that I use, to be honest with you. And then um, there's some more directions over here. All about load data. Some stuff about dudes and shotgun shells. And then on the back side, uh, just some warnings. Maximum charges must be weighed. And this is here, you know, because powder density can vary as much as 16%, you may frequently be reducing your charge by considerably more than 10% with the dipper. And then they advertise their scale. All right. Now, the way this card works, as you can see, there's a slot there. Turn it the right way. Powder type. And then the dipper. And then it gives you the grains of powder. So um, you can pick your powder. So just for example, let's grab one here. Let's use HS6, which um, I use quite often now. Since the uh, ammo apocalypse, I was able to get a few pounds of it. And then I couldn't get unique anymore. But... Uh, so you go to HS6, and then you go down, and let's go to the 0.5 dipper, and it says that it will throw 7.0 grains. And that's quite basically how you use this card to figure out how many grains of powder which particular dipper is going to use. Now, I have found this card to not be that accurate. Um, it'll get you in the ballpark, but for example that uh, 0 0.5 dipper which you can see uh, it's turned black I use this a lot um, and it's marked on the dipper itself 0.5 cc and a lot of the Lee die sets will come with a dipper the one that's most closely um, matched up to that particular die set uh, the 0.7 cc dipper that I got in a die set I just keep it to the side, and this is what I use for scooping powder and dropping it on my scale. Um, so I use this one uh, a lot, not so much for the uh, measuring part of it, but just just it's handy little thing to dip powder with when I'm dropping it onto the scale. But um, if you get the full set, it gives you a little bit more range to choose from than just using the dipper that came with your die set. Um, so this .5 dipper... I use this one with my 45 ACP. That's the one that I'm using this morning. And I'm using it with HS6. However, the card says that this will show this will throw seven grains. 
7.0. Um, actually, my measurements have found this shows 7. Point, this will throw 7.4 grains. So, as I said, you can use a card to kind of get you in the ballpark, but you still want to test these with the actual scale and with your actual powder to see what kind of weight you're actually getting with it. Um, and the way to do that, rather than just dipping it and throwing one and measuring it, um, the more accurate way to really do it, because you're looking at a, an average kind of range, is to throw 10. So dip 10 and throw it, then weigh that, and then divide it by 10. So, you know, if you weigh it and you're getting, you know, 74 grains, then you know it's throwing an average of 7.4. So that's the better way to, the more accurate way to actually uh, measure that. So, um, like I said, there's not much to them. I hate to throw prices out nowadays because after 2020, all the prices went so crazy. But I think I gave 15 bucks for these. They're they're not expensive because they're just little plastic dippers, but they work well, and they're actually very handy. And I use them a lot. Um, the other thing I kind of like about them, if you look, they're they're tapered at the top. They're pretty thick and durable, but up at the top they're tapered down, and they're thinner walled. And where that comes in handy is you can use these um, without a funnel if you want to. So let me just grab a piece of brass and I'll show you what I mean. Um, I got some 40 cal brass over here on the side I'm processing. So um, if I were going to load this, I could get this dipper full and I could take the, the brass and put it over the top. And then flip it like this and that way you can scoop and you can load up your brass if you don't have a funnel without spilling it so um, it's kind of handy neat little way that they do that uh, I use uh, some homemade dippers that I've made for um, loading 223 this is one that I made out of an old 45 shell and I use this with um, accurate 2230 and with H335 it actually works very well with both of those powders for 223 and um, another one I made around here that I use with uh, this is with uh, IMR 4895 uh, to give me a good uh, charge with um, 223 so uh, I'm a big fan of dippers, but I'm going to show you my technique, which is basically what they recommend. And I'm also going to talk about different powders and why you may or may not want to use a dipper. So uh, I'm going to take some HS6 here. And I just keep a little cut down Dixie cup around here. And the reason uh, I like it cut down is uh, so I can squeeze it and pour powder back into the barrel bottle with if you don't use a cut down cup if you use one with a rim you can't really pinch it down like that so um, I've just always keep this around here for powder and when I'm loading I'll just dump some of this powder into the cup and then when I'm done I dump it back into the bottle so but um, their technique what they tell you to do is not to scoop powder like that because you can end up kind of packing powder into the dipper. So before I start loading, I'll have to go get another dryer sheet and de-static this thing pretty good because uh, there's a lot of powder sticking to it this morning. But I can still show you what I want to show you here. So, um, so the proper technique for doing this is submerge it like this. And you bring it up. And then you just give it a couple of taps on the side. And that will knock off the excess off of the top. I'm not talking about what's sticking on the outside here. I'm just talking about in there. You don't want it, you know, down like that. But you also don't want it heaped over on the top. Let's see if this other one will work any better. Yeah, that's a little cleaner this morning. Um, that one doesn't have as much static on it. So you can see when you just first scoop it, it's kind of up over the rim. So if you just give it a little tap, 
that brings it down more level and that's what you want is you want it leveled off um, you don't want it down like that and you don't want it overflowing so that's the technique they suggest is just kind of submerge it down give it a couple of taps and then you're good to go you can dump that and move on to the next one um, the other thing they talked about is leveling it with a card and what they're talking about is if I can do this on camera is when it's over flowing on the top like that just taking a card and shaving it across like that to level it uh, I don't use that technique first off it's slower to me it's a lot faster just to tap and then go because I mean literally I'll just you know pick it up and give it a tap dump that one grab another one tap dump so when I'm loading up a, a you know 50 rounds here or whatever I can do that a lot faster than sitting there trying to shave it and I have found this to be plenty accurate for what I do okay so I have three different powders here I've got green dot unique and HS6 and uh, I could use any of these three powders to load 45 ACP and if my editing skills are up to it right about now I'm going to insert some load data for these powders and this load data comes from the Lyman cast handbook and if you look at let's take green dot for example to start with the range for it the minimum load is 4.5 grains and the maximum is 5.8 so that has a range of 1.3 grains unique the minimum for it is 5.0 and the maximum is 7.5 so that has a range of 2.5 and then HS6 the minimum is charge is 6.0 grains and the maximum is 8.7 grains which has a range of 2.7 grains uh, so the reason that I'll use the dippers with unique and HS6 and I won't with green dot is just that range um, I don't usually load to the maximum uh, especially something like 45 ACP I actually find that my more accurate loads with that are more on the uh, uh, mid to high range of the scale rather than right up to the maximum so um, I leave myself a little safety uh, margin especially if I'm using these dippers uh, and I don't notice any bit of difference as far as accuracy but I know that there is some variance in the dipper so, for example, this morning I'm going to load the uh, HS6. I'm going to use my 0.5 cc dipper, and that gives me around 7.5 cc's. So, if you look at the load data there, the range runs from 6 to 8.7. So, 7.5 is a little above the halfway point. Um, 7.4, I'm sorry. Um, so 7.4 is a little above the halfway point. So if you, you took the load range and you went right down the middle with it, which would be, what, uh, about 7.3, roughly something like that. So 7.4 is a little above that. Um, that's a good load for me. I've loaded that many times and with my 45 and it gives a good load. It's not real super powerful, but it's accurate and it works great for me so i'm very happy with that i don't have to push the ragged edge so i'm very comfortable doing that because uh if the dipper's off if you know i'm shooting for 7.4 but if it shows if it throws 7.3 or 7.5 or hell even 7.6 or 7.7 i'm still a full grain under the maximum so i don't have to worry too much about that but now if you look at green dot or another example is um, which is not on here is tight group uh, I use um, a lot of tight group here lately I started using it as of last year just because it was something I found a few pounds of and it goes so far um, the tight group and HS6 has really kind of got me through that whole 2020 um, apocalypse ammo thing 
because I had enough of it that could hold me over. But with tight group, I, I weigh every load. So I'm slower at reloading when I'm using tight group because I weigh every load. Um, because I don't trust the dippers with it. But if you look at like green dot, where your range is 4.5 to 5.8, you've only got that 1.3 variance. Uh, if I'm loading, let's say, at 5 grains, um, uh, which actually I'd probably end up going a little above that. I, I'd probably be up more like 5.3 or 5.4 grains. Well, then if the dipper, instead of throwing 5.4, it throws 5.7, you're almost up to the maximum there. So uh, just me personally, if I have a powder like that, that has a tighter range like that, I tend not to use the dippers. With something like that, I usually weigh more. But as I said, with um, HS6, throwing 7.4, I can load these rounds with it, and I go out and shoot it, and I'm not shooting for accuracy, I'm not shooting competition, just for me going out and plinking and stuff. To me, it's just as accurate as factory ammo. I, I can go up there, I can load 100, go up there and shoot 100 times, and I don't notice any difference whatsoever uh, with it. So um, that's that's it in a nutshell for Lee Dippers. Um, I probably made this video longer than I needed to. I just wanted to kind of uh, give you an introduction to it. And I'm going to get back here to reloading. And um, God bless you all. Hope you have a great day.